is DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Samba, Jiu-Jitsu. Round one, you are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? One? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the shot. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands a big right hand early. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal to this point. He's fighting, he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. Oh, there's the swing, and there's the miss by Nermago Medov. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, huge Superman punch. So just over 20 total strikes and counting him. Now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Alba. Punch is blocked. Good stick. Nice body kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses there with the left. Big kick land. Blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needs it to go. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. Leg kick. Two minutes remain in the round. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Doubles up on the jab. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. 
The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. What a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice shot to the body there. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Nurmagomedov. Final seconds here. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. He got able to fight from both sides. He become really dangerous. Oh, nice jab. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Big and kick. Just a slip there. Aldo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Aldo gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. So on official 69 total strikes have landed for Jose Alba. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. That is a stiff jab. Well, I know Javier Mendez has said Khabib likes to go southpaw at times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's underappreciated. He's a very good striker. And as he gets more comfortable in the octagon, it will continue to show. Under three minutes now remain in round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Beautiful strike. Oh, nice. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Just over two minutes now to go. Magomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just missed on the front kick there. And that one certainly found the target. 
So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Oh, nice. Nice. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Aldo hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Ten seconds. And that's the end of round number two. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. Not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Big kick lands. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Effective jab there by Nermago Medov. The number's 122 total strikes and counting have now landed for the king of Rio, Jose Aldo. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. 37% the accuracy thus far against Khabib Nermago Medov. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows. Yep. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, he might be out. Three minutes to go in round three. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, yeah. oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands to the middle. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just missed with the left there. Aldo's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice counter right hook there. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, yeah, right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Right. Nice, Lakey. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big leg kick lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. <laughs> nice punch there by Nermago. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. He loaded up right there too. Ooh, head kick lands, it's hurt. They continue to exchange. It's messed up really bad. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish. Oh, he might be out. Seconds winding down in round three. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Finds a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. He see talks through. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high Ready? level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Aldo's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, didn't take long. You see the signs of bruising on the outside of that lead leg. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Slips the punch. Oh, huge block! Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big knee there. That was a thudding leg kick. Visibly limping here. <laughs> Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Wind it up on the right there to know bit. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after. Oh, 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 and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one lands right on the spot. Oh, big left. That strike blocked by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Aldo gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Oh, straight right. 
take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And they separate. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right head. at the cut on his eye. Oh! Oh! I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Another shot lands upstairs. Way to hide that leg kick. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Thunderous leg kick rounds as all of it is trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, nice slip to, to avoid that right hand, that right hand. That. 20 seconds left. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively. And that's going to do it. He's done. He's done. What a performance. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career.